I am delighted now to introduce our commencement speaker, William E. Conway. Bill Conway is an entrepreneur, community activist, and philanthropist. Bill was born in Cleveland, Ohio, to Tim and Margaret Conway, and is a middle child in a family of 13. At a young age, Bill learned the values of hard work, responsibility, and dedication, and I suspect a lot about cooperation. Bill learned from his father's wisdom to be a giver, not a taker. He continues to live by this motto, and with his wife Mary, has passed it on to their four children and ten grandchildren. Bill began his love for education and entrepreneurship at an early age. It was fostered by his parents with their strong commitment to education. Bill went on to receive a Bachelor of Science degree from Yale University and completed the executive program at the University of California, Berkeley. Bill is a lifelong learner, and Bill, we still have room for you at Weatherhead, the Doctor of Management Program. <laughs> he began his career in mining and later aspired to own his own business, which he did following four years spent in Australia opening up an iron ore mine. In 1978, Bill and a group of investors purchased Best Sand in Chardon, Ohio, which at the time had sales of four million. That year, Conway met Chuck Fowler, and Conway and Fowler ultimately merged two sand companies into one company, the now legendary Fairmont Minerals. Today, Fairmont Minerals has grown to more than 750 employees, with revenues exceeding one billion. But what's most impressive about Fairmont is the signature line that they live every day as a company, and that is people, planet, and prosperity. They do good and do well. Bill's love for golf and his entrepreneurial spirit led him to dream, design with Tom Fazio, and manage one of the top courses in the United States, Sand Ridge Golf Club which he remains actively involved with today. Bill lends his vision and wisdom and expertise to various other executive boards, including as chairman of the Austin Capital Partners and the Mid-American Consulting Group. He also held board positions on the Cleveland Electrical uh, Illuminating Company and the First Union Real Estate Investment Trust. Additionally, he is past chairman and director of the National Industrial Sand Association, a former member of the Board of Directors of the Ohio Manufacturers Association, and belongs to the American Institute of Mining, Metallurgical, and Petroleum Engineers, the American Foundryman Society, and the Ohio Cast Metals Association. Reflecting on his community involvement and philanthropic interests, Bill devotes a significant amount of time to local organizations tied closely to his passions, including the Cleveland Botanical Garden, University School, and the Cleveland Clinic Foundation. He has also been very generous, extraordinarily so, with the Weatherhead School of Management and Case Western Reserve University. We are also proud to claim his daughter, his aunt, is one of our graduates. In addition to his business and civic accomplishments, he has been honored with the Dively Entrepreneurship Award from the Harvard Business School of Northeastern Ohio. Bill was also honored by Cleveland State University with an honorary doctorate degree was inducted into the Inside Business Business Hall of Fame and was named Mayo Man of the Year by Cleveland's Mayo Society. We are delighted and honored to be able to welcome William E. Conway as our graduation speaker today. study in verse. 
And I do remember what President Seymour at Yale told us on our graduation, and that is you'll, you'll never stop learning. And that was good advice, which I've tried to follow, and I compliment each of you for your continuing your educational journey. You've given here at the Weatherhead School the opportunity to continue to learn more about yourself and to learn about your capabilities. I hope you've also learned what I consider to be the most critical component of being a manager and indeed a human being. That is, having positive, ongoing relationships with the people with whom you live and work. I hope you've developed the skills and realized the significance of being a supportive colleague and of being an earnest listener to and mentor of those who look for your guidance and support. I learned the importance of personal relationships early. As Rob said, I was lucky enough to be one of 13 children. One girl, 11 boys, and one girl in that order. I was even luckier to be the kid in the middle. I learned how to listen, how to wait my turn, and how to be helpful. I had to learn as a teenager how to help my mother in managing the younger ones and to organize them and indeed mentor them. This added responsibility and experience came about as all of my older brothers were in the service during World War II, and my father had added responsibilities as his work during that period. Speaking of my dad, uh, to his regret, he did not have a formal education beyond the eighth grade, but he was an avid reader, took nice classes in accounting. He worked his way from being an accounting clerk to president of Fisher Foods, which at its peak in the 1940s had more than 300 neighborhood food stores in the Cleveland area and over 4,000 employees. He was a very strong believer in the importance of each individual in building a company and spent a lot of time visiting the stores and warehouses and getting to know the people. And we were able to join him on those, some of those visits as well. My dad was a wise and caring believer in the worth of each individual. And that's the way he, the role model he was to each of us. He was also very active in the Cleveland community, and particularly because of his love of sports in sponsoring Sandlot Baseball before the Little Leagues and in the city of Cleveland. And he urged us to follow his example being involved in our communities and finding ways to give back. We often heard the words that uh, Rob referred to, which Dad said with a fellow others. He said, you know, be a giver, take giver, not a taker. And another one, be a builder upper, not a terror downer. To your own self be true. Look after the younger ones. Here are a couple of words that I would add to that list. Be a listener, not a talker. Be an educated risk taker, not a gambler. Be a win-winner, not a win-loser. Based on the grounding with my father's wisdom and the support of a great group of people, many of whom have degrees from the Weatherhead School, Fairmont Minerals and I have achieved more than I dreamed I might have when I bought a sand com company in 1978 at the age of 50. I was conditioned by my dad's example to readily agree with Chuck Fowler and Jennifer Deckard when they brought appreciative inquiry and sustainability from Weatherhead back to Fairmount and proposed adopting them to be our company's guiding principles. We had been committed to high ethical personal and business standards for decades. We tried to be good citizens and good neighbors and to be environmentally aware. However, by committing to the principles of AI and SD, we have introduced a structure and a methodology which brought these principles more deeply into our organization as the core values of the Fairmont family. That commitment has made us a stronger, more unified, and more profitable business, and I believe a model for others to emulate. Fairmont's motto is, do good, do well, and I think we're doing both. 
I first joined the visiting committee of the School of Management some 40 years ago. Fairmont has benefited from our relationship with Weatherhead in many ways since. We've also benefited from the wisdom of those who have attended this school. Let me illustrate the value of a Weatherhead education, what it can do for its graduates and supporting organizations. Fairmont has had 11 employees get advanced degrees from the school, starting with Chuck Fowler in 1990. Chuck recently retired after 17 years as our CEO. He continues as a director and is actively giving back to the community in a variety of ways, including being the current chairman of the board of this great university. Jennifer Deckard earned her MBA in 2004 while holding the position of chief financial officer at Fairmont. Jennifer is now our CEO. She is also actively engaged with a number of not-for-profit organizations in the Cleveland community and as a member of your visiting committee. Fairmont in recent years has been exposed to significant market opportunities due to the impact of the shale revolution in the North American energy field. There has been a sharply growing demand for the profits which we supply to the oil and gas industry for use in the fracking process. We have added facilities and built a great team to enable us to respond to that demand from our mines and coating plants. I want to thank the Weatherhead School for the part it has played in preparing our organization and its leadership to respond to those opportunities and in bringing about Fairmont's resulting growth. To be specific, when Fred Chuck Fowler graduated in 1990, Fairmount had sales of $41 million and was a nicely profitable company. When Jennifer graduated in 2004, sales were $211 million after some acquisitions and organic growth, and we were doing even better. Chuck and Jennifer and our team then led the organization into further acquisitions, expansions, and new technologies. What's the result? Well, for the most recent 12-month period, Fairmont sales exceeded $1 billion. And we've grown from approximately 150 employees to over 1,200 now, uh, Rob, where we, we made a major acquisition in the fall of the year to bring us from the 7,500 uh, you mentioned. And it's working very well. So thank you, Deans Alfred, Colin, Reddy, and Whiting. Thank you, committed Weatherhead faculty. You've given the members of the Fairmont family directly and indirectly the skills to identify and take advantage of our opportunities and to grow appreciably and sustainably. Weatherhead has given to Fairmont and now has given each of you many of the tools needed for success. I hope as you and your organizations face new personal and business opportunities and you apply these tools appreciatively. You are blessed with a meaningful and satisfying career and life as I have experienced with Fairmont. And finally, listen to your father and help your mother. Thank you. <laughs> Bill for your profound and uplifting advice. The school strives to develop leaders who innovate to create sustainable value and are good global citizens. Bill, you serve as a role model for our mission. Thank you.